JDP Gaming here once again bringing you another episode of my fantastic, great, no I'm joking, <laughs> but no, bringing you another episode to my Coventry City Career Mode series. I was very much aware of the uh, the previous episode I released in the, in the matches that I was commentating on. I was boring as, I mean, oh my god, when I was editing it I thought, how is anybody going to watch this? I mean... I couldn't stand myself, so you know, if you did manage to watch throughout the whole of the episode, it does pick up, so thank you. In this episode, I'm going to be much more enthusiastic, going to be, you know, celebrating goals a load more. If I concede, I'm going to be, you know, raging a little bit more, you know, I don't rage too much. I'm quite composed about it all, but you know, I'm going to step it up this time, so yes. Anyway, getting into the details of this episode, um, we're going to crack on. Finish um, October, I believe that's three games. I think we have... Hang on, let's have a quick look at the calendar. Yep, we have Warzel, MK Dons and Bradford. So, you know, we're going to knock those three games out of the park. And hopefully, also get three wins as well. Right then, let's crack on with this first game against Warzel. Come on! So here it is, our first game of the episode. We're at the ground of Warzel, which is the best got. Having a look at the lineups now. So, Warzel have gone for this team. I have no idea what formation. We'll have a look in a couple of seconds. Here we go. They've gone for a 4 2 3 1 wide. I remember specifically in a couple of our matches, we've always smashed a 4 2 3 1. So, you know, let's do that again. Having a look at our lineup now. I noticed, um, well this was a bit tired so Nathan Clark comes in, otherwise the back five stays the same. Big Romani and Stevenson partner up in the middle of the park, Jones stays at Cam, and Beaven is partnered up with George Thomas. Alright, they've got it on this far side, having to chase it down again. Oh, bad touch, out for throw. Clark, quickly, quickly takes it into the middle to Stevenson. Can he lay one of my strikers through? Jones is making the run, he's got the pace, cross short goal, just wide, ah! Oh! Come on, that was the chance. Inches. Inches. Back into Kelly Evans. Oh, poor first touch. And he gets tackled, but we kept it alive, though. Over the top. Oh, no, through, through for, for Thomas. He crosses it in. <gasps> Stevenson makes the run. What a goal! 1-0. Lovely play. Mate, I thought the ball was over hit then with Thomas, but somehow he was able to control it. Put the cross in the middle on a play for Stevenson. Unmarked. Late run as well. And as we'll see in the replay, look at this. Unmarked. Goal. He shoots it from where the keepers come from. It's an easy goal. 1-0. Keeper punts it up the pitch. We win the header. Oh, somehow still alive. No, it's not. There we go. End of the first half. So it's 1-0. We've played well. We got that all-important first goal, which we needed. We were looking um, dangerous up front, and we uh, got the goal as a result. Walsall, they've had good possession in the middle of the park, but otherwise they haven't really troubled us regarding going forward. So it's looking like a comfortable game so far, but that could all change with a half-time team talk. Regarding half-time substitutions, I noticed Jones was a bit tired at centre attacking mid, so I've uh, decided to bring back Beaven. He's now playing at centre attacking mid, and Felivi is coming up, coming on up front. Come on, we win the header, Clark. Lovely. Poor first touch from Felivi. I slide in, and I sent the player flying. They've got it on this far side now with Musa. He's all over the place, this guy. Deflected cross on the edge of the box now. Lovely play by Wolves on it's fired wide. And here's the foul pull back and Felivi's given that yellow card. We punted up the pitch now. Can Felivi win the header? He does indeed. Beaven carries on a run up top. He cuts inside. Over the top now. No, not really. To Thomas. Oh! How has he missed? Come on, it wasn't that hard a chance. Oh, we... Oh, goal. Oh, Wolves will cut it out. Beaven's still there. Ah, doesn't make a difference. Scoreline didn't change from half time and it ends 1 0. Yes, come on. I remembered that one of my objectives set by my club was obviously my youth development, and that is to grow one youth academy player by at least five overall points and play them in five matches. And we've also got to sign one of my youth academy to the uh, assigned from the midfield position so basically we need to now invest in our youth development so we're going to look to hire a scout so hopefully we can get somebody good 
that would take out all of my budgets unfortunately not I'm gonna go with Keith Hennessy he's you know average and you know for our budget I mean if I go for the top of the bottom they wipe out all of my money so I can't go with either of them so I'm gonna go with Keith Hennessy and we're gonna set up obviously we're gonna go to England for let's go nine months and we'll get any. Nine months and any. Into our second game of the match now. It's against MK Dons at the Stadium MK. Looking at the lineups now. But before we have a look at the lineups, as you can see, we have a demonstration of the league table here. We are sitting at first. 13 games gone. Shrewsbury have now, after that loss against us, they've recovered and they're now second, drawing on points with us, but we have a much superior goal difference. Unfortunately, the lineups have been skipped, so I'll just have to talk you through it as the first half kicks off. So basically, I've brought in Harry Cipriano left wing back and Paddy Ke no Paddy. What am I about? John Joe Kenny at right wing back. Um, my defence is back to usual. Harris and Willis. No, that's a lie. Rawson has come in at centre back instead of Turnbull. Regarding the rest of the pitch, Riley and Rose come back in the middle. Um, Jones is back at Cam and Beaven is once again joined by Apri up front. Oh, look, looking good now. In the middle of the park, over to this near side for Harry Cipriano. Takes a big touch, can he whip one in? He does, to the back post for Beaven, who's a shot! Oh, and the volley's right at the keeper. We win the ball, lovely. Willis has now got it, he puts it up the pitch to Appia, to Jones. Over the top now for Appia to run onto, he does indeed. Great first touch of his head, a second lovely one, straight at the keeper, but the keeper just saves that at his feet, and Appia is there. Yeah, there we go, there's the end of the whistle. Right, there's the end of the first half. And it's 1-0 to us, a good goal by Appia. Let's hope, let's ho hopefully we can keep this going and get, well, our second win of the episode. I haven't made any switches at half-time. The team's alright, no one's tired, and I think we can keep this going. Oh, whips into the box, they win the header. And it goes wide and it's out for a goal kick. Good and punted up the pitch now. Can be even win the header. He does somehow. Play through the middle to Appiah to run onto. He's going to get to it. Cuts on his right foot. Finesse it. <gasps> oh, it's just wide. What play, though. Lovely header from Beaven. Appiah is then laid through. Cuts in on his right foot. And he just misses. Oh, that would have been such a good goal. Can you whip this in now? Riley. Good ball. Get the header to it, Beaven. Appiah's still got it. It's over to Rook. Appiah now. Oh, he's <laughs> Sorry. Willis is the one who laid it off to Appiah, who has a half volley, and it's just wide. Rawson's having to come over. Oh, he's missed it completely. What's he going to do if he's going to pull it back? No, he goes alone. <gasps> what a save by Gunn. I didn't know what I was... What, I didn't know what the player was doing. I tried to, and then I thought he was going to play it back, and unfortunately, his footwork created him some opportunity, and what a save by Gunn. They've got their corner now. Oh, they pass it short. Got it in the box, pass it back. Crosses one in. <gasps> we win the header. Can we come away with it? Edge of the box, not cleared. We pass it into the player. Willis is there to come across. He comes across again. Oh, and the shot is just over the bar. Making three substitutions now. I'm bringing off um, Rose for that yellow card he just received. Jones and Harry Kipriani because they looked a bit tired. Jonathan Necker comes in at striker. Beaven comes back at Cam. Then I brought on Jordan Spence. I know he's a left mid, but I'm putting him at left wing back just because he has the pace to run up and down. And then Gadjev comes in the middle for Rose. Played in the middle now. MK Don's looking. Oh, it's up. Oh, we've come through the back and given them a penalty. What? What? What was I doing? Oh, it just turned. Oh, and just. Oh. Idiot, can we save the penalty now? I'm gonna go left. Oh, he's gone right. God damn. God. Oh. And somehow, MK Dons have gone back into this game. They don't deserve to. Played up the pitch to Appia. He's got the muscle. It's out. It's out strength and the pull it back to Beaven. Has a touch shot. Saved by the keeper. Can Licker get the rebound? He does. Oh, it's wide. Oh no, the keeper saves it. It's out for a corner now. Let's have a look at this. Oh, it was going wide anyway. And the keeper just gets a hand to it. Right. I'm going all out attack now. Riley 
Whipping this cross in. It's a good cross. Willis is there. Oh, and the header is right at the keeper. Comes to nothing. And he punted up the pitch. Can we keep it alive? Ah, oh, MK Dons have got the ball now. No, oh, there we go. Full time loss has been blown. And somehow we didn't get the three points in this game. But oh well. So the game's ended 1 all. MK Dons got a penalty due to a mistake by me. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking. And. We come away with only one point. We have our final game of the episode against Bradford. Fortunately, the points dropped at MK Dons has not suffered our league position. We do still sit at um, top spot. Shrewsbury must have also drawn their game, so they're second still. But the gap between for the second and third has been closed now, and the gap difference is only two points. And this is a this is a first versus fourth game now against Bradford. So whoever wins this may go top. Well, I mean, if I win it, I'll stay top, and if Bradford win it, well, they'll go above me. So this is an important match early on in the season. Having a look at our lineup, nothing's really changed from the last match. So you know, let's see if we can keep going and uh, hopefully get a win instead of a a draw. Whips the cross in. That's all. That was an interesting attempt for a cross, but it doesn't matter. It's blocked out for a corner. Whip it in near the penalty spot. Appears there. Oh, it's at the crossbar. Come on, keep it going. Back in. Back into Appier. Turn his man. Have a shot. It's blocked. Have another shot. Come on. Come on, somebody. Poor, poor, poor ball to Appier. He's won it back, though, to Beaven. One touch. Second touch is blocked. His shot is blocked, and it goes out for a corner now. Can we get another one and maybe Appy can score this? Far post, he pulls it back to Stokes, there's a shot on his left foot! He's hit the post this time, Appy with the rebound! And it's right into the keeper's arms, oh! Bradford come away with it now, oh and Jones is... I didn't even do anything! He's got on a yellow card, what is this? Let's have a look at this, I want to know why he got a yellow card. We just... He ran into me! Oh, come on, ref! Kelly Evans, though, down this near side. Oh, no. Poor defending. Whips crawl, a pro cross in across the ground. Comes to nothing, though. We still haven't cleared it. What was I doing there from Jones? Riley? Oh, lovely. Oh, what? And we've given away an, a free kick on the edge of the box now. What are Bradford going to do with it? Hopefully they can't score. Lovely. Oh, what a save by Gunn. That was goalbound, I'm pretty sure. Let's have a look at this free kick again. Right in the corner. Oh, he got over quickly, Gunn, and that's a good save. Right, they've got a corner now. Oh, it's a bit wide. They've still got it, though. Appy's there to cut it out. He brings away with it. He's got the muscle to shove the player off, and it's up to Beaven now. Come on, let's keep this counter going. Through to Appia. Come on. It's too far. No, it's not. Appy shoots. Oh, it's a good goal. It's a cross goal. I thought the keeper saved it, to be honest with you. But no, it went past him. And in the back of the net, 1-0. Come on. Bradford are just uh, playing it around the back now. And there we go. Half time. So then, that uh, 39th minute goal by Appy is the only goal of the match so far in this first half. It's been a pretty decent first half. I mean, look, he's had five shots on only one goal. I mean, we've also hit the crossbar and the post. I don't understand how it's not more than 1-0, but it doesn't matter. We can keep going strong and hopefully secure this victory. I've made two substitutions going into the second half. I've brought on Gail Bigger Armani for Callum Riley, who looked a little bit tired in the middle of the park. And unfortunately, Jody Jones had pick up had picked up an injury. He was stickered. So Lekker comes on for him, and Beaven is once again dropped back into the centre attacking mid roll. Plays it through to Appier. Oh, that's a good ball. Come on. He's beating him for pace. Oh, unfortunately the first the big first touch is too close to the defender and he was able to cut it out. What a ball though by Stokes. Willis there again comes across, wins the the ball over to Leko. He's up the pitch now. Big touch for him. Pulls it across the box to Appiah. Oh, wasn't hard enough, and the player clears it for a corner. Bigger money whips one in. Willis is there. Oh, what a save by the keeper. Radford now have it on the counter, on this far side. Kelly Evans though, over there to help defend but he's muscled off and they're still going he wins it though eventually it's all right Stokes oh that's a poor ball in the air to uh bigger Armani not much of a clearance oh he's turned my player brilliantly what a block though 
from Kelly Evans, making another switch now, bringing on Harry Kipriano for the tired Stokes. They've got it on edge of the box dangerously. The cross is blocked. They still have it though. I can't switch to anyone to go to him. Has a shot blocked. Oh my god, dangerous play. Oh, three against one. Surely this is a goal. Leko, he's got the pace. Is he going to pull it back? He switches it over to Appiah. <gasps> oh, it doesn't matter. Yes, now it is 2 0. <sighs> Appiah's shot wasn't the best because it was, in fact, saved by the keeper, but he couldn't stop it and it still went in the back of the net. I was a little bit too casual with this. I finesse shot at it <laughs> and I didn't do it too well either because it was right at the keeper, but unfortunately. He, he's, he's still, well, he saved it, but it still went in the back of the net. And the final whistle is blown, and it ends 2-0. Good game, good result, and that is us still at the top of the table. So we have the email back from my assistant manager about the news for Jody Jones, and he's going to be out for three weeks with a sprained ankle. So that is effectively both our centre-attacking mids now injured. So... We're going to have to probably bring back Beaven and he'll be our cam for the time being. So there we have it. That is the end of the episode now. So we won two out of three of the games and draw, drew our other one. Having a look at the table at the bottom right hand of the screen, we remain top of the table. But one point separates us and third place, so it's still very tight. Shrewsbury are keeping up with us. Right then, that's the end of the episode. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully I was a bit more charismatic in my commentary. And I hope you've been liked have and I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have then always then smash that like button and you know, subscribe for more. Bye!